London is an ancient city. 2,000 years ago, the soldiers of Julius Caesar built a temple on the site that would one day be known as the Tower of London. It is said that they mixed the blood of British slaves with the mortar. A thousand years later, William the Conqueror began construction of the White Tower in 1078. It was constructed as a royal palace, an armory, a fortress, and a prison. The walls are 90 feet high and 15 feet thick at the base, with no entrance on the ground floor. The steps up to the only entrance can be removed in case of attack. After William the Conqueror, Richard the Lionheart, Henry III and Edward I all developed the complex, adding a great hall, new walls, moats and towers around the original fortress. It became tradition that each new monarch on the eve of his coronation would feast in the great hall there, then knight the young nobleman who'd kept vigil in St John's Chapel before riding to Westminster Abbey to be crowned. That great hall was eventually pulled down after Henry VIII moved on to larger and more luxurious premises like Hampton Court Palace and St James's Palace. From the 13th to the 19th century, the Tower of London also contained its own zoo, which began when Henry III was given three leopards, a polar bear and an elephant by foreign kings. The bear was allowed to fish in the Thames. Lions were added later and the zoo only closed in 1834. The tower has been the Royal Mint and remains the home of the Crown Jewels, but its most famous role is as a prison and place of execution. In fact, the first person to live here, Ranulf Flambard, was a prisoner. He escaped down a rope. In 1244, a Welsh prince tried to do the same thing, but his knotted sheets came undone and he fell to his death. King John II of France was imprisoned here for a time after his capture at the Battle of Poitiers. King Richard II of England was also held here as was Henry VI, Elizabeth I, Anne Boleyn, Sir Walter Raleigh, Sir Thomas More, and dozens of other men and women of power. There are more ghost stories about the Tower of London than anywhere else in Britain. There were also some dramatic escapes, as when Catholic John Gerard slid down a rope from the tower to friends waiting in a boat on the Thames. Another Catholic, Guy Fawkes, was not so lucky. The Tower of London has been at the heart of English history for nine centuries, the ravens may well have been here since the 11th century construction, and the most famous legend is that the tower and England will fall if the ravens ever leave. Today that would be difficult, as they are fed by hand and have their wings trimmed. Each night, the ceremony of the keys takes place, and the tower is locked up for the end of another day in the extraordinary history of this extraordinary fortress.